you have some friends who only talk about high school or their college years. They cannot get over the fact that high school or college is over. You know why? It's because those years in school, those were their best years. They peaked in high school or college. And it's kind of annoying because they would mention something back in high school, they would mention something back in college, and they can't get over that fact that it's over. They were so popular, they were so free, they were able to do whatever they want. And now that, you know, they're a working, a working adult, a working member of the society, they're like, oh, I hate this. It's sad, right? They peaked in high school or college, but you gotta realize that high school and college, that's probably eight to 10 years of your life. After those years, you have more to you than schooling. You gotta build a life, you gotta build a career, you gotta buy things that you want. You want a new Mustang, a new Camaro, or buy a house. You got those things in your life. So if you cannot get over high school or college, it's sad. You have to think beyond that mentality. You cannot stay in school forever. Life is not a classroom. Life is outside the classroom. There's no professor proctoring you. There's no college students that you're going to talk to. Real life is harsh. Real life is the actual. You make it easy or you make it hard. That depends on you. So either you are, you haven't gotten over schooling or you know people who have not gotten over schooling. You know, it's kind of sad. It's kind of pathetic because that was a controlled environment. In real life, all bets are off. The restrictions are lifted. You got to take care of yourself. Either you're going to do well or you're not. So you got to think about that. Just imagine your life, just imagine your climax of your life is high school or college. Isn't that sad? That's all you talk about? GoPro, stop, GoPro, stop recording?